Is there a perfect time to have a baby? What are the pros and cons of starting young? It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, I had no idea what I was doing with my life before I had Isaac, but because I had him, I discovered I wanted to go on to do midwifery. When I found out I was pregnant, I felt like that's it, like everything that I planned was out of the window, it's gone out the window. Today on Mothership, we're gonna to talk to two fantastic young mums. Let's have a chat. We'll start with you now. Tell us about your experience about being a young mum. When did it all begin? Um, so I was 18 mm -hmm. uh, when I found out I was pregnant. And uh, yeah, I had my son at 19, so in January. Um, yeah, it was not planned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like don't even have the words to describe it. It was just very life changing. I bet. Um, and everything just happened really quickly. Yeah, and did you well. have support from your family? Yeah, I did. Um, they were all very, because um, I come from quite a, a religious, mm -hmm. like Christian kind of family. So I think it was, it took a while for them to, uh, you know, it's like they were grieving with me kind yeah. of thing. Um, and, you know, my mum was in the same situation as me and mm -hmm. she was kind of like, you know, the struggles that I went through being a young mum. So, you know, how did this kind of happen? But yeah, in the end, uh, they were very kind of like supportive and have been since then. And they love my son more than they love me. So. That's what happens, <laughs> that's what happens. The baby gets first, first priority, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. And how was your experience, um, Ellie? Um, so I was the same, I was 18 when I got pregnant with my eldest, who's nearly three, and 19 when I had him. I'm not gonna say it was unplanned, because I knew it could happen. I know, it's, so, it's, silly, it's like sex it equals babies. I mean, it's yeah, a crazy it concept, I mean, guys. <laughs> Um, but I had nothing going on in my life at the time and I knew that if I did get pregnant then um, my partner, I'm still with him now, he'd be an amazing dad. So mm. yeah, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Um, I had no idea what I was doing with my life before I had Isaac, but because I had him I discovered I want to go on to do midwifery. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and if I never had him then it is not something I would have even ever considered. You notice people sort of looking at your finger, looking at your hand to see if you're you're married. Young mums on benefits. A lot of the older parents might not necessarily want to hang out with you because they might think you're you just don't fit in with them or you're trouble. People were shocked when I went to university. They were shocked when I went travelling with my son to Southeast Asia for a year. They were just everything was like, oh wow, pat on the back. Everyone expects you to be quite silly in the way you act. They don't expect you to be a very good mother, which is um, which is actually really unfair. What was it like sort of, I guess, coming out to your friends about being pregnant? Yeah, it was it was hard um, because where I come from, uh, teenage pregnancy was obviously always seen as a bad thing. Mm. So I knew there were people like talking behind my back. I lost a lot of friends as well. I had like one friend who's like my best friend now and it's actually my son's godmom who like stuck by me. So um, it was very isolating. Mm. You were saying people were talking about you. How do you sort of manage that or what, what techniques um, did you use to sort of manage that? When I was pregnant with Isaac, I went through my Facebook friends and I deleted anyone. Yeah, too. Yeah, so anyone awesome. that I thought might gossip. I want to do that. Or, yeah, it was a really good feeling actually. Yeah. Yeah, anyone that I thought might gossip about it or that I didn't really talk to. Mm -hmm. um, and I just cut anything out of my life that I thought might judge me or that kind of thing. Yeah. And that's really that empowering though, isn't it? You yeah. sort of feel like you want everybody on your yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah, I never announced Isaac's pre pregnancy on Facebook like most people do. <laughs> it didn't do, it it didn't do like with like blue yeah. balloons. No. Yeah. Because that's, that's a thing. The gender yeah. reveal. Yeah. 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 Cut the yeah. cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kept it quite private, but it was yeah. nice. Um, but then it was nice with Oliver's pregnancy to be a bit more public. Mm. Well. After the babies were born, when you mm. went to sort of like baby groups or mm. um, socialised with other mums, how, how how, how did that make you feel? Um, how did you how did you feel like they accepted yeah. you or? At first, I was a bit intimidated because it felt like everyone had their own houses, amazing careers, were married. Um, but the more I talked to people, I just realised everyone was in the same boat. Mm. Everyone was really lovely. No one ever said anything bad about me being a young man. That's great. That's really good. <laughs> did you have a similar experience now? Um, to be honest, I didn't go to like tons of groups because I just automatically just felt like 
I'm not really gonna fit in. Yeah, it it took a while before I kind of like met people and yeah. um, like Ali was saying that after a while you do kind of get to know people and mm. I've got mums who are like twice my age and I get yeah. on really well with them. So well, like old people like me. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> Think, Some of us are quite nice. <laughs> I think it's a maturity thing as well. Yeah. I think you get older and you just think, you know yeah. what, people are people yeah. at the end of the day. And We're all tired. We're all really tired. Yeah, I think when it's, yeah, that communal feeling of tiredness yeah. brings yeah. them together. Exactly. Um, I think there will, uh, to a degree, unless society completely changes. People seem to perceive you um, in an odd way when you're a young mum. Um, I got a lot of, um, you know, your life's over now because you've had a child, and that's what most people tend to think. Hopefully not, um, but I think there will always be judgmental people who will judge people for anything, especially when it comes to motherhood. I don't know, I think a lot of things have changed. There's lots more sort of support for younger mums. It's not like, I don't know, years ago when you were shunned and sent to a coven because you had a, a baby. What are the things that I guess you found extra difficult or other difficult challenges of being a young mum? Uh, missing out was my mm -hmm. biggest yeah. thing. Um, because, you know, before I was in college, I was uh, studying the course I absolutely loved. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna go to university, I'm gonna travel, I'm gonna do all this stuff, I'm gonna go to New York to study. That was my plan. So I definitely feel like when I found out I was pregnant, I felt like that's it. Like everything that I planned was out of the window, it's gone out the window. And it's quite hurtful actually, because mm. you just kind of feel like, oh my God, is my life actually over? Yeah. Um, but obviously that's not the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just on hold, just on hold yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did um, you feel minutes. similar, Illy? Oh yeah, definitely. I had Isaac um, the summer before all my friends went off to uni. So when they did go off to uni, I felt very isolated. Bit of FOMO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they were putting pictures of Freshers Week, I was just sat at home feeding my baby, mm. um, and I hadn't made any mum friends yet. Um, I had to force myself to go to groups just to make friends yeah. and get out of the house. So what, what advice would you both give to someone going through a difficult time? Um, I'd say your baby is so much bigger than any gossip or that kind of thing, and once the baby's here, you won't care as much. Mm. Um, and you've just got to try and cut out people who are going to be like that. And I know it's hard, because sometimes those people are close to you. Um, I think, as well, once people see you with your baby and see you doing a good job, then they're not going to judge you. Mm. I've received a lot less judgment than I thought I would. For me, certainly, in the beginning, I felt like, oh, I've got to prove everyone wrong, I've got to show yeah. them that I'm mm. doing this. And obviously, you just like, you just don't care. No, you don't care. Yeah. And you, you know, it's like, you know what, I'm doing a good job with my child. Mm. That should be your main focus and concern. Exactly. So. Mm. And also, everyone has bad days. And I think yeah. young parents struggle to speak out about it because mm. they don't want to be put into that category of a struggling young parent. Yeah. But, Everyone has bad days, and that's okay if you do. Yeah, there's and a lot of assumptions that a lot, a lot of a lot of baggage that oh, comes with that tag, yeah. young mum, that you have to sort of fight, yeah. and, mm -hmm. which exactly. other mothers wouldn't have to. Yeah, yeah. So the pity as well, like, and that's what I don't like of a lot of the things that, that are out there, and it's for young mums. I think a lot of young mums want to avoid it because it's almost like we're well, charity baskets, and mm. there's this sort of pity, like, oh, you've got no money. You've got. You haven't got an education. Do you want um, some help? Maybe we can, you know, get you um, a qualification in health and social care. And that's not going to help me. It's not going to help my confidence. Yeah, it's you can know. be quite patronising sometimes. Exactly. When my partner told um, his boss that I was pregnant um, when I had my eldest, she was like, "Oh, Liam. Oh no!" And it's just like. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. No, and it's not. Uh, and if he was yeah. ten years old, it would have been, oh, congratulations! Exactly. And it's still the, it's still a different. complete joy and yeah. and and a wonderful thing. But yeah, you have to overcome all those other judgments before people can like take yeah. you seriously. The older you get, you don't think so much about age. Like you know, I'm I still consider myself to be a young mum, but I'm not like 
I don't know, I just think I'm a mum. Yeah, so I just, that's right. He you you doesn't make it. Yeah. Because no. it's interesting, like the UK average is, is 28. So mm. if you had your baby at 18, then there's, there's, there's lots of mums who are having their first baby at like 42 mm, and 44. Yeah. And so that's, that's you know, another struggle mm. in itself. And mm-hmm. I think oh, when I've spoken to older mums, they've sort of said, I sort of regret having it a bit older because it means I, I'll have less time mm. with this precious, yeah. this precious sort of child. But I guess there's always, as you said, there's never a, a perfect no, time. Anything, and you're always just discovering new things exactly. um, yeah. along the way. What are your favourite things about being a young mum? Um, so I felt like I never had to leave a career behind to have children. Um, I discovered what I wanted to do after I had children. Um, I didn't have to choose to go back to work. Um, after I had Isaac, I had two years with him. I didn't feel like I was sacrificing anything for that. Also, having young grandparents to help out yeah. mm, is great. So <laughs> they have What's that all like? the energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My son at the minute, he's having a skiing lesson with his nanny. Uh, Nice. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's great to have them close by and to have that help. They've been absolutely brilliant. Mm. Get to grow with your child. Gives you a new kind of drive and focus uh, when you have a lot of responsibility as um, a young person with a child. I think the advantages are you can kind of grow up with your kids and you're not too old to do stuff with them. My son's 16 now and I'm in my late 30s and we have a really, really strong bond. I feel like I've got a good relationship with him because we've grown up together and I'm still young enough to remember being at school and all the issues he's facing. I've learnt a lot from my son, so yeah, it's a teaching and learning relationship. So we're going to ask the internet for a bit of advice about the advantages of being a young mum. And they say, number one, you have much more energy before you reach 30. Is this true? But Do I you don't have, know what it's like to be past 30. 30. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's awful. It's dreadful. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm more tired, but you guys look like you could run for days. So I think that maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. <laughs> and and similar to what you said, Ellie, the internet says you never really knew what it was like to have freedom beforehand. So you don't you don't feel like yeah. you're missing out. Well, I guess we did. I think it's more in terms of nights out and that mm. kind of thing. Um, but to be honest, once you have one or two nights out after becoming a mum, it's a bit overrated. It's pretty... Yeah. Hang yeah. You'd rather be at home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Baby. Yeah. I always get to that point in the night where I start looking at pictures of my babies and going, oh, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go back to you, Oliver. <laughs> so one of the things the internet tells us all about the advantages of being a young mum yeah. is that you will get to see your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You'll have a longer time. Do you, do you feel that now? Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that in the future. Yeah. I'm quite looking forward to being 40 and then they'll be grown up. And yeah, yeah. that'll be nice. They'll yeah. be serving wine at your 40th. <laughs> yeah. They'll be drinking with you. <laughs> so we agree with the internet then. Yes, this is a good thing. You're going to be yeah. around yeah. for a long time. Yeah, definitely. You'll be changing lots of nappies when you're old. Lots of know. grandchildren <laughs> everywhere. You can just about yeah. get away with sharing the same clothes as your child because you're of the same generation. Do you think uh, that's going to happen? I mean... My children be, are boys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be able to share those Thomas the Tank Engine t-shirts. they want to wear dresses. Yeah. So. <laughs> that would be fine. Yeah. Um, I still can't see that happening. I don't, I don't see that as an advantage. I don't want no, them taking my stuff. No, Thank exactly. you very much. No. Be quiet, internet. <laughs> and I guess, uh, like, sort of rounding up, what are your sort of top tips if somebody is pregnant as a teenager or out there feeling like they're struggling? What, what sort of advice would you would you give them? Um, I would say to them that it's not over um, and try to remove yourself from any kind of stigmas or, um, you know, ideas that society has. Like, just remove yourself from that. That doesn't define you. You know, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. So, um, I would say seek support wherever you can find it. And it might seem like there isn't much before you tell people, but... There will be support somewhere. Um, just build your village up. Well, thank you both. You clearly are brilliant people and experts in the field of being young mum. Thank you for sharing so much. You. If you've got any comments, please put them below. Thank you for watching Mothership. Um, see you soon.